So now we are going to wash the decomposing site whereby we are using the biodigester bags okay. for producing the methane yes. at the same time for recycling the waste material from the animals yes. as well as also the humans. So here we have the toilets yes. uh, for the people. Yes. So whenever you visit the toilet, you are also adding the methane to this area. Yes. So And then also we have the, uh, yeah, the funnel there. Mm -hmm. And then with the funnel, yeah. it is... Uh, for adding the animal waste, the cow dung, mm -hmm. and then also putting to these uh, pipes, yes. and then it goes to the biodigester. Yes. So with this biodigester, we get what we call methane gas. For, methane. Yeah, methane gas yes. for cooking. Mm -hmm. And then, so this is the entry site, whereby, or the feeding site, mm -hmm. and then we have the exit site, where the effluent goes through that. And then in the biogas, mm -hmm. they have what we call seeping mechanism. So after they are fully decomposed, yes. they are able to exit yes. the fully decomposed waste mm -hmm. to the other side, whereby we have that uh, banana circle. And then the excess amount also goes to the uh, napier. And uh, because we have the human waste, which yes. normally comes and then they have to compost here, mm -hmm. we normally uh, discourage people using them in their uh, main growing area for growing the vegetable or uh, uh, a, a crops for consumption. Mm -hmm. But you can use it for nebia, growing crops and the like. Even though the waste which comes here is clean and also it doesn't smell, mm -hmm. and uh, it is, you hardly notice any uh, human waste, especially when it comes out because uh, it is being outweighed by the animal waste. We have more animal waste than this one. Okay. And then the methane gas is a, 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 a light gas mm -hmm. which normally floats to the surface yes. and is also insoluble. That is why we mix the waste with water, mm -hmm. but the gas normally floats at the top. And that is why we have this top, uh, this being tapped mm -hmm. at the top. Mm -hmm. And then with each channel or the site mm -hmm. we have the cap uh, the, uh, the valve mm -hmm. so this gate valve is for controlling the air uh, the gas the gas the methane so gas. if we uh, we want to use this uh, the gas from this uh, bag mm -hmm. we just switch on mm -hmm. the the valve mm -hmm. and then we switch off the other one or if you want all of them you can switch all of them at the same time mm -hmm. or the two of them yes. so that is why these two they have a uh, they are valve closed mm -hmm. and then another one uh, allowed. And then also we have another thing here mm -hmm. whereby we have uh, this one with water. Yes. Uh, this one is meant mm -hmm. to collect water, the moisture. Yes. Yeah. So if your gas contains some droplets of water, mm -hmm. they will just drop here mm -hmm. and then allowing the gas, the dry gas, go through, through this side. So this okay. is the piping side. Yes. This takes the gas. To the kitchen okay you you actually use this gas to cook yeah mm -hmm. you can come to this side mm -hmm. so this is the point whereby we normally check yes so from this side mm -hmm. this is where we have the waste and this is the waste coming out mm -hmm. yeah so with this waste mm -hmm. you hardly see any human waste yes you can see this is a normal yeah. like a yeah cow dung eh? Yeah, this like the normal uh, cow dung. So that is why I say... Or, or rather the waste. normal waste you would expect from a biogas plant. Yeah. Okay. So to mean that even though we are using the soil, we mm -hmm. don't have the septic here. Yes. Yeah, we are producing also uh, safe waste. Yes. Yeah. So that is why it had uh, you can feel any smell. Yes. Because it's fully decomposed. Yes. At the same time, so also when it goes to the other side. Yes. Uh, so uh, it, it is safe also when it comes... The, uh, the three units collect yeah. into this... Uh, unit you call it the banana circle yeah and then it proceeds it has a an outlet over there it proceeds to this uh, garden if I may call it so inside yes and it has trenches yeah we call it swells in pharmacology swells yeah okay and uh, they go around the this area yes and uh, we don't water our uh, napier grass so oh, that's it why just it's this green eh? water itself automatically very very nice yeah and it uh, the, the 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 napier grass is then fed to the cows and uh, and other animals the goats and sheep. sheep yeah that's wonderful
So you can notice it is very clean yes. and we don't, despite the weather being dry, we don't water them. It just, it is an automatic system. Yes. So that is why we say uh, we designed to be lazy. Right from the source, we follow that pipe into the kitchen. Uh, we get to test this gas. So this is the kitchen. And uh, so this is the burner. Yes. And uh, also because the uh, the digester is far end, yes. we have experience of uh, low pressure. So we have uh, this small bump to okay. assist, uh, to assist us especially increasing the pressure. Okay. So when we switch on this uh, bump, yes. it will assist us especially in adding more pressure uh, adding from, the source. Yeah. from the source. Yeah. So yeah. when we switch on like this, mm -hmm. so this is where we have. Uh, the lighter, mm -hmm. and the biogas, mm -hmm. and the gas, mm -hmm. and then uh, so. So when we light in, so this is the gas, the methane gas, yes. and uh, so this is the methane gas, and you use it for cooking. Yes. Yeah. This is the no, like the normal gas. It's a normal gas. For yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah. And then. Then you use it for cooking. So Fantastic. it is uh, cheap. Yes. And then also readily available renewable gas so we are using the methane gas yes for cooking so how much would, would would such a system cost to set up in a homestead okay first of all you can uh, see the difference between these two bags you can mm -hmm. see this one uh, the two they are small sizes oh, yeah, these are this one is a one. big one yes which is uh, double the sizes of this one mm -hmm. so the setting up this uh, small let's say if you call us this especially to set up this uh our digester yes this small one will cost you 35 000 that, that includes 000. the setting mm -hmm. and then also the, with the piping and then also with the panel these are the five thousand okay and then for this big one we can uh give you also good service yes it costs you seventy thousand. yes yeah because it is to double the prices yeah. yeah so it's double the that, size yeah double, double the, the size the cost yeah so that one include also the piping yes. as well as also the the panel so we install everything yeah. okay for this glass uh -huh. um let's say it can light continuously more than eight hours eight that hours is without stopping yeah nice. let's say let me put it uh make it uh, sure let's assume six complete hours running and if you open it you can cook your agidere your whatever all the time and the good thing with that is only it is renewable it gets renewed so yes. long as we have the good weather mm -hmm. it just uh, regenerates nice. so it is not that you use it once and uh, so it, you'll be using it once uh, over and over again okay. and you make sure you feed it daily or at least twice a week size uh, the pipe piping mm -hmm. the panel and the bag so that is the cost, 70,000. But also the most important thing is that you'll be reducing the use of the LBG gas. So yes. the cost which you should uh, incur, especially going to renew your uh, cylinder, mm -hmm. you will be saving. So yes. this one, even though it costs you uh, 70,000, it more. will last you more than 20 years You uh, using this one. For example, these two have uh, I've lasted more than 10 years now. Oh, these bags are more than 10 years old? Yeah, because uh, it was used uh, from the other side and then mm -hmm. installed here. So okay. it is more than 10 years now. And it's movable? Yeah, movable. So if you, and if you, for instance, if you want to move it to another area, yes. you can move it. Nice.